What's up everybody? It's Anthony from Granddaddy Herps and this is going to be the update video on clutch number one. So right off the bat we have ourselves a female pastel. Looking really nice. Really nice blushed out head. This clutch is almost completely full of females. Okay, and then here's her sister. Really nice blushings on this one. So she's really shy. Let's see if she decides she wants to come out and say hello. Nice head on her. These two will be for sale after a couple meals. And if you guys want any female pastels, please let me know. They're not going to be too expensive, as it is just a single jean pastel. These guys got some really nice bright colors on them. They look amazing. But let's put them away. Let's get something else for you guys to see. And then here we got ourselves a nice mystic pastel some of these guys I mean there's so much variance in them some of these guys are really really blushed out like their dad was an Anthony McCain line or is an Anthony McCain line um, mystic and he's just all blushed and funky just like this just like these babies so this is totally from the from their father like these funky little side blushings look at this beautiful couldn't be any happier with the way these Mystic Pastels turned out. Nice silver head. Almost a white eye stripe with a little bit of yellow in it. Super bright yellows. Awesome. Gorgeous. And then, um, let me see. Pretty sure this one, there's only one Mystic Pastel that's a, that's a male. Let me see. I'll put in. I'll, I'll point it out later when things are for sale. Cause I forget which exact one was the uh, was the uh, male. So we'll put this. We'll put these in a separate tub. Excuse me, guys. I don't want to put them back in the same tub because then I won't be able to tell them apart at first. A lot of them look identical. Okay. Now next is another Mystic Pastel. And you'll definitely see the variances in what I'm talking about. Like, look at the blushings on this one. Amazing. You would think it had gold blush in it. This thing's beautiful. The dad was an amazing, amazing looking baby. He was really dark with a lot of blushings. Look at that. So as far as like what I'm keeping, what I'm selling, I may hold on to the male pastel mystic. Um, actually, I will hold on to the male pastel mystic for sure to replace the dad. Um, I may hold on to a female mystic pastel. I'm not 100% because I'm pretty sure I got two Mystic Bumblebees, so. Beautiful, beautiful, nice, nice little green eyes. Nice blushing on the head. Funky, funky patterns. So there's that one. I had to wait for them all to shed out. They've all been shedding over the last two days. here another mystic pastel this one's got a really pretty head those mystic eyes right there look at that no orange dream here guys just straight mystic pastel okay this one is the male and I know why I remember this one's the male 
because there's this pattern here. It looks like A M I. If it was a female, I would have called it Amy. <laughs> but I remember it turned out to be a male, and I was like, damn it, it's a male. So I can't call it Amy. It's got this cool little arrow pointing out, and then um, on its neck, there's like a little bow tie right there. It's kind of cool. But again, just nice, nice blushings on these guys. These little letter A patterns all over the place. This cool little donut right there. If let me see this pattern, I, I actually really like on it. Let's see if I can show you. It looks like a snake right here by my thumb. Like if it's gonna eat like this. It looks like a little snake right there. It's kind of cool, right here. But yeah, there's a male Mystic Pastel. Looking fantastic. Okay, next one. Now we're getting into my favorites of the clutch. These, these are just fantastic. And if I were to hold back a female Mystic Pastel, it's going to be debatable between the next two I show you. So, this one's extremely striped. And I love that about it. And not only that, it's got the striping along with the nice, nice blushing. Just like the rest of them. I mean, again, you would think these have like gold blush in them. Just wacky, wacky side blushings. So cool. Look at that. So it's extremely debatable on which one of these two I'm going to keep. I'm, I want to keep everything. I may hold on to this one and the next one I'm going to show you for a little while. You know, get them up to like two, three hundred grams and then, you know, see how I feel then. Because this one is just too beautiful to, to let go. I mean, it's striped. It's got all the blushings in the world you could ask for. You know what I mean? Look at that. Nice reducedness towards the, the head of the snake. Just gorgeous female. That's now now I'm running into breeder problems when it's just like you want to hold everything back. I'm gonna end up like Mark from Balls Out or he doesn't sell anything. <laughs> Look at that pattern. Just beautiful. Just smoking. Alright, now I'm gonna show you the next one. So that one I call stripes for obvious reasons. Now this one came out looking like a super pastel mystic. And you can kind of see what I mean and why I say that. See those silver blushings? So this one was definitely like a looker right out the bat. So it's like this one's going to be debatable on whether I keep it or not because as far as blushings go, I'm a huge fan of, of blushings, especially on the dorsal areas. And, you know, bright snakes are always beautiful, so you gotta hold back the brightest stuff you can so that when they're adults, they still kind of keep it. But again, this thing just got some funky stuff going on there. Camera's doing a decent job picking everything up today. But I think this would compete with some super pastel mystics. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at those patterns. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous animal right here. Beautiful. Someone was trying to tell me that they look like just regular mystics. Um, I don't think so. I'll show you a regular mystic. Looks nothing like a regular mystic. But, you know, to the untrained eyes and people just getting into it, they don't know anything, right? <laughs> now, these last two have been giving me a freaking headache from the beginning because, um, and I'll show you why. So, 
here we have what I believe is a mystic past a mystic bumblebee. The head is is leading more, me more towards it. Um, just the the super clean cleanness and like the dark yellows on it make me think that it is a mystic bumblebee. But then when you see her sister, it it's like it makes you scratch your head even more. You know. And so I go back and forth like, oh no, this is just a bumblebee. No, it's a mystic bumblebee. It's just my bumblebee I hatched out last year didn't really look like this other than the the whites that are coming through. And if you look at a phantom bumblebee, this looks almost identical to it on World of Ball Pythons. It's a female, so I'll be keeping it again for a little while at least until I can just kind of like really just like figure it out. Okay. So I'm going to stick this one right here, even though I know this one's going to go all over the place. But then when you see this one, you're going to be like, oh, no, that first one can't be. But if you just see how yellow it is in person, this one here, it would make you really, like, scratch your head because it's, like, it's so dark yellow. And then this one, this is most definitely, without a doubt, a Mystic Bumblebee. It's just got the darkness to it. It's got that dark head stamp to it. It's got like these like mystic looking like neck patterns. Like all that stuff right here. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like these neck patterns are like dead giveaway that it's mystic. So after seeing this one out of shed, I'm starting to think that the other one is just a regular bumblebee. But then again, it's hard to tell because you know, the mother was a killer bee, which means she has two different lines of pastel, which you know could throw two completely different looking babies you know what I mean but this one being so dark I'm without a doubt that this one's Mystic Pastel or Mystic Bumblebee this thing is just like really dark compared to the first one I just showed you and then so like this little one is making me think that the other one's just a Bumblebee so let me put both of them together. So this this Mystic Bumblebee I just showed you is super calm. While the one I think might be just the Bumblebee is extremely active. You see what I mean? Like this Mystic Bumblebee makes this one look like just kind of like a Bumblebee. But then again, if you saw this one in person, you would think that it is also a Mystic Bumblebee. Just because it looks, it looks a lot, I mean, to the untrained eye, it looks like just like a bumblebee, but it looks extremely different. And their head stamps are just like too unique to be just bumblebees. This one for sure, but let me know what you guys think, man. A lot of people are telling me that this is a mystic bumblebee, but then after seeing these side by side, I'm, I'm sure it's going to make you second guess. But um, as always, it's Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs. Um... You know, I'll, I'll update you guys on these. If you follow me on Granddaddy Herbs um, 1904 on Facebook, you can get updates on these guys. Um, but even more so, if you go to Instagram and you search Granddaddy Herbs 1904, you'll definitely get more updates. I'm more active on there. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the update of the hatchlings. And keep your eye out in a few weeks for some four cells, okay? Always again, Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs. Peace.